So this is the situation. Most of the people of Israel have not found the favor of God they are looking for so earnestly. A few have, the ones God has chosen, but the hearts of the rest were hardened. Did God's people stumble and fall beyond recovery? Of course not. They were disobedient, so God made salvation available to the Gentiles. But He wanted His own people to become jealous and claim it for themselves. Now if the Gentiles were enriched because the people of Israel turned down God's offer of salvation, think how much greater a blessing the world will share when they finally accept it. For since their rejection meant that God offered salvation to the rest of the world, their acceptance will be even more wonderful. There will be life for those who are dead. And since Abraham and the other patriarchs were holy, their descendants will also be holy, just as the entire batch of dough is holy because the portion given as an offering is holy. For if the roots of the tree are holy, the branches will be, too. But some of these branches from Abraham's tree, some of the people of Israel, have been broken off. And you Gentiles, who were branches from a wild olive tree, have been grafted in. So now you also receive the blessing God has promised Abraham and his children, sharing in the rich nourishment from the root of God's special olive tree. Oh, how great are God's riches in wisdom and knowledge! How impossible it is for us to understand His decisions and His ways! For everything comes from Him and exists by His power and is intended for His glory. All glory to Him forever. Amen.